What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. As you can see, I have one, two, three new poles to get these solar panels up over here in the correct area with these guys that have been working fantastically. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. So in one of the last solar panel videos you guys saw, I ended up digging out these two poles right here. This one I did later on that night when the sun actually was going down because it was much cooler and I was literally dying when I was in the middle of doing these. At least it's easy digging, it's soft sand underneath a couple inches of dirt, so that worked out nicely for me. Now what we need to do today before the sun goes like high in the sky because it's over there and it's early morning, so I'm going to go over here. We're going to disassemble all of these panels. I mean, hopefully, anyways, I'm going to do four at a time and we're going to get these into my garage. We're going to get them all set up so I can get them on two of those poles today. And then I'm waiting on that one more uh, three inch diameter circle bracket to be able to remove those four panels that are up there and get those on the third pole as well. So let's uh, focus on that. Let's go, I guess, disconnect things from the combiner box in here. But first I need to shut down this setup. So you can see everything's still running all good off of the batteries. I'm just gonna unfortunately shut down the eye pole for a bit. All right, so now the power out is shut off and everything that is running is actually just charging the batteries. So what I'm going to do is just go outside and disconnect the panels going to one section of this combiner box right here. So I don't know if you guys remember, I do have like a 50 footer here and a 40 footer here that I just kind of coiled up and ran over to the trailer temporarily. So what we're gonna do is disconnect these first four panels that are going to the 40 footer and we're gonna get these inside and then I'll come back and disconnect those ones after these ones are more or less installed on the pole and rehooked up. So let's do it. We made it in the garage. All right, I got the other two panels there and I got these four here. Now, the good thing about this is I can actually wipe these all down with some glass cleaner and a rag, obviously. The only thing that I noticed that sucks about being under the tree, where is it? There's like little spots of sap basically all over this thing. So that's a huge downfall having this, you know, covered. So I'm glad we're gonna be changing that out. So I just gotta wash these all up. Then we're gonna flip them over and go from there. And I really just wanted to mention real quick, guys, I'm sorry for like drilling solar content on this channel. So let me know if you guys like don't like this at all in the comments below. This is literally me learning and just going with the flow, things that I need to do to get this solar set up all good and done for the mini box miners. So just let me know if it's bothering anybody and I can get back to some GPU content, but I'll be trying to sprinkle some little things here and there in between. So let me clean these things up, let's flip it over and then I'll show you guys how I set up the actual top part of this solar panel setup. Okay, units are all clean. Now what we need to do is cut two pieces of Unistrut for these two panels. We're gonna run one basically from this hole here, straight across all the other holes. You know, we're gonna bolt them in and go from there. Now we're gonna take this guy. This is a 10 foot piece of Unistrut and I'm gonna cut it down to four foot sections because if we measure these two, Four feet gives us just a little bit of an overhang on each side, and that's what I want for handles to be able to grab, adjust, and move around this on top of the pole. So let me get these things cut, we'll throw them up here, and we'll bolt them on. So there we have two sections cut to four feet. I bolted them through so I have a one inch three eighths bolt with a washer and a nut and a washer on the other side. And what I did was more or less just take a socket into my impact gun, held the other side and zipped it down just to tighten it up. Now I took some zip screws over here and in the center here, okay, they have holes like this but they don't line up with the Unistrut. So what I end up doing is putting a zip screw on one side and the other, and it holds these panels together perfectly. Like I can move it around, carry it, no big deal. So now I need to get the other side set up. And one thing I want you guys to note is right here, this is gonna be the bottom. So I have two holes open on the bottom. That's basically for a handle and there's only one open on the top. So when I do the next set of panels, 
they're going to be against this way, like this fuse box right here is gonna be right here on the other section. So I need to make sure that those are on that side as well, facing the opposite direction, just so when you put them together, it's not backwards and look funny when it's out on the pole. So let me get the other two cleaned up, set up the same way, and then I'll show you how we mount the bar across and all that. There we have it. So we have the two sections. As you can see, the fuse boxes are against each other. We have the shorter end at the top of the panels. The low or the longer end rather is going to be at the lower or the bottom end of the panels. Then you can see right here, these are Unistrut two inch clips. So this Unistrut is actually made for like electricians or plumbers. I'm a plumber by trade. So I go to the supply house all the time. This is what we end up using. They do have solar panel Unistrut, but I don't like it, it's just a little too thin for me. So I'm gonna deal with the actual Unistrut and my proper Unistrut clips. Now I'll show you guys how these things go on. So you take the clip itself and it goes into the groove sideways and then you just turn it. And it will hook into the Unistrut and then it cannot come out. So that is uh, obviously super helpful in not losing any of these panels. The only thing I miscounted, I'm actually gonna have to run to the store. I only got two of these clips for each set of panels and I forgot I needed four because there's four runs of Unistrut. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. So I gotta get that done, but either way, I'm gonna get these all tightened up and then we will mount the center bracket. So here is the top of the mount right here that sits on the post that's in the ground. Now these are two and a half inch pipe U-bolts basically. So the bridge right here that's like acts as the washer, you cannot use because you actually do have to pry this apart just a little bit. So I ended up holding it with two hands and just kind of, you know, wrenching it apart slightly just so it fits in these holes because it's a little bigger than two and a half center to center. And then I end up just putting a nut and a washer on each screw, you know? So that works perfect. Now, all we have to do is put the end caps on this guy right here, and then we should be good to go. So let me just grab those, toss those on. That just kind of dresses up the ends and that way you can't like, you know, have any bees or anything live in there because you know they'll be making nests inside this thing in no time if you don't do this. So either that or just some sort of tape or whatever. But yeah, that uh, should be it. Now you can connect these all together if you would like here or out there. I'm going to series connect these. So we're gonna do the negative of the panel to the positive of the adjacent panel basically. And then we're gonna have the negative here and the positive here going to the combiner box. Just before I carry this thing outside, I wanted to mention, which I forgot to mention, was the zip ties. I ended up putting zip ties in between the two panels to squeeze everything together when I was putting these next to each other so they would hold tight while you're mounting the center bar. And I actually just did tie in all the solar panels together. So negative here and a positive from that fuse box is gonna be going into the combiner box. You can see everything's just kinda looping together. That's how series works. All right, now let's carry it out. It's starting to come together, guys. That sucks every single time I gotta lift this thing by myself and mount it. But I didn't record it this time. You guys could see it in the original solar video if uh, you really wanna see me pick this thing up and put it on. It's just super awkward and just massive. And obviously it's glass, so you don't wanna break anything. All right, now I need to get the other solar panels up on this one, I think I'm gonna put it on. It's either that or I can put it on that one, but actually, yeah, you know what? I'll put it on that one, and then we're gonna get the combiner box mounted. So let me just get these ones all situated. So I just gotta get these unplugged, cleaned up, and we'll be back as soon as they're over there on the poles. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have all of the panels up, except for that one last pole behind here, which is, you know, the panels on top of the trailer, but I got these up here, it was a pain in the ass and they're so freaking awkward and heavy to throw up by yourself. But now all we have to do is connect these wires. You know, this one's gonna go over to that one in parallel and then they're going to ride down and go into the combiner box on the middle right here. This is a piece of plywood I have to mount on the side with those brackets. So this is how it's gonna sit. I just uh, mounted the plywood with a couple zip screws like this and then it's just gonna go on that pole. We gotta remove this thing though. And right now, like I said, I shut off the output so nothing's going through it. I'm just going to uh, kill the entire unit. So disconnect the batteries and this should take a second and then it'll shut off. 
yep she's off now I can disconnect these so it's gonna be a little tough to get my hands in here I'm gonna unscrew this pull it up and then disconnect everything and just like that it's all out of here so now I still have these panels up on the roof obviously they need to come down at some point and those wires are just kind of chilling there but guys it looks like it's gonna pour out this is taking me hours I'm not even joking I have zip tied all of the wires on the ground I've zip tied all of the wires up the poles, so I have a 20 footer coming from here over to the middle one where the combiner box now sits. And what I'm going to do is go over the rest of the wiring in that wiring video that I'm going to have for you guys. But as you can see, everything is nice and tidy right down. I have a 20 footer coming over to this pole, which is the uh, place for the solar panels that are on top of the trailer right now. This is the new one I put up and so is this. So now the 20 footer from here comes across and ties in and then it goes and ties into here. So, I mean, everything is all connected. Now I just gotta turn on the unit and uh, make sure everything works, but this seal should keep it completely weatherproof. All right, so we gotta get this power flipped on, which we should be good now. And man, it's getting windy. It is about to start pouring or something. <laughs> all right, we gotta get inside now and Let's turn on this unit. All right, unit's back on. 26.4 volts on the batteries. As you guys know, the sun's not really out, but we have 63 volts coming in. We have nine amps and 254 watts in the shade. Well, literally no sun. It's just completely hidden by the clouds, but that's pretty good. All right, I'm extremely happy about this, guys. This has been a long ass day. Literally, it took me like eight hours to do this can't even uh, believe I've been doing this as long as I have, but I'm glad I separated this video from the last video. Next video you guys see, we're using the whiteboard and we're going over all of this now that I have it hooked up exactly how I want. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate all you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace out.